Hi, in step one, I showed you how to set up the environment variables. And in step two, I showed you how to install the loopback adapter with a static IP address. And in step three, I showed you how to install an Oracle database, 11G, and tested the installation using the command prompt. In step four, I will show you how to install the repository creation utility 11G. But first of all, I want to show you the location where you will download the files and extract them to. You always extract your files to the C drive. That way you do not have a lengthy path when the software is running on your machine. So what we'll do now is go to the Oracle website, show you the exact location where to download the repository creation utility software and then extract it on your machine. Okay, let's go visit the Oracle website go ahead if you have to start from the main page this is how you get to where the repository creation utility software is you go under downloads middleware click on middleware then you look for business intelligence suite ee which is enterprise edition click on that then since we're installing the oracle business intelligence 11g version of the software you choose the second option then as usual, you will have to accept the license agreement for your software to work. Choose that option. Then these are the different versions of uh, 11G that are available. This is Oracle Business Intelligence Applications, which is different from what I'm showing you. What we want is the Oracle Business Intelligence 11G. So you go and click on all supported platforms. Then when you get to the all supported platform page, you again here accept the license agreement. You scroll down and then you will go to the section that says required additional software this is where you find the software for the repository creation utility okay so we're using a windows 64 bit machine so you go ahead and click this option and so that the download can start okay i'll go ahead and log in Then click sign in and there is the download process takes a few minutes you can see the time here is estimating that it's going to be about two minutes okay once the download is complete you will go to the download section of your computer locate the newly downloaded software which is uh, the RCU and then uh, you right click it unzip the software when the unzip is successful you only have one folder which is uh, has already been unzipped and it will be called rcu home and then when you double click on that folder it will take you in and everything that was unzipped will be uh, held in this file and then you will locate the bin double click on that and then uh, locate the rcu file RCU file, then you right click on it, run as an administrator, then take a few seconds and the installation window will come up. Okay, after the installation window comes up, this is the welcome page. This is the first page you will, you will see once uh, this, the download was done successfully and the installation window comes up. So at this point, you just click next. Then you want to create and load component schemas into a database. Then you click that option. The majority of the time it will be pre-selected for you. So you click next. Then at this point, you will have to enter the host name for the database, the port name for the database and the service name, and then the user for the database and their password. The host name is uh, localhost, which is a uh, local machine you are installing your software on then there is a default port that comes with the software which is 1521 then the service name is the oracle database name which is orcl if you recall from the previous step when we created the database we left the name as is orcl 
and then for the administrative user recall one of the users we gave the password to was sys so we we'll use sys here and then we we'll type the password admin123 and recall the password admin123 has got the first letter is uppercase and then you click next so it's checking prerequisites at this point once everything is successful we click ok and then from the list of us selecting selected components you want to install oracle business intelligence so you click this option and then you click next then the components have been selected successfully you click ok then you want to use the same password for all schemas so you will type the admin123 password here again admin123 and then next so here what we are doing is we are also trying to create a schema owners dev mds and dev bi platform this is metadata services and business intelligence platform so we'll go ahead and click next and yes you want to create existing table spaces once validating and the creation of table spaces is complete we'll just click ok and then it will list everything that you are about to do which is the summary page here we want to create schemas and uh, table space types and the table space names here and then you go ahead and create click create takes a few seconds metadata services has passed if anything shows a red x on your left side of the item it means it has failed the method uh the the check and uh, you do not have to continue at this point you need to uh, figure out what the issue is and resolve it and you can see the status now shows that uh, everything has been created successfully and uh, at this point you just click close and that is all there is to installing the repository creation utility on your windows machine the next section will demonstrate to you how to install the oracle business intelligence enterprise edition 11g version of the software and thank you for watching and i look forward to showing you how to install and run this very important software